uh, I want to bring it back to the people, so not talking about the actual tech companies or the people who work for them, but that the tech companies should be in service of us. So what is better for us? Is Absolutely. it better to be for these tech companies to be regulated? Absolutely. What the European Bigger Union has, has been putting forward is just an example of common sense balance, right? It's sort of, I have argued in, you know, in, my, in my own personal work, in my new book, Beyond the Valley, for a digital bill of rights, a balanced digital world, right? As we see privatized technologies that we don't understand, we don't understand what's being gathered about us, we don't understand how that's being monetized, we don't, we don't, re we don't even realize that our credit card records can be bought and sold. That's a place of invisibility, which can open itself to having very little control, which can also open itself to all of these problems we're starting to face. So what the European Union is doing is just leading in a way that in my mind is pro-innovation, is consistent with uh, tech uh, branding, right? Big tech branding at least, in a way that balances things, that is good for consumers, good for small businesses, good for big tech companies. I, I think the fundamental motivation is not punishing Americans, it's fear of the unknown and of, of people doing things differently, right? This is not about Europe over-regulating. This is about the fact that Europe effectively does not have a digital tech sector. That's the problem, right? If you get to the point where you don't have startups able to succeed, if, if, if all of your people leave, if small businesses can only succeed by being acquired and then moving to the United States, if the German genealogical volunteer group that I mentioned, an enormous volunteer organization has to shut down, if a thousand news, American news sites can't provide service to, G, to, to Europe because of the GDPR, you're doing regulation wrong, right?